All right, guys, in our last review this week, we've got Mass Effect 3 Citadel, the final DLC for Mass Effect 3. So check it out. Here we go. Now, in my notes here, I have good, but doesn't make up for the awful ending. And that's, that's pretty much it here. You know, Mass Effect 3 had its fair share of criticism. And they had some other DLCs, including the day one from Ashes, which, which caused a whole bunch of contro controversy on its own. They also had Leviathan, which I didn't play. I heard it was okay, though. I heard it was pretty good. The Omega DLC, which was mainly about Arya, and if you've read the comics, it expands on some stuff that she does in the comics. And then this one, the Citadel DLC. So this one, it's mainly about spending time on the Citadel with each of the characters. So each one of them has a side mission you get to do with them separately. And then at the end, there's a party, so you may have heard about that. The point, point of this is to throw a party at the end of it. Um, That's the plot of this game? Yeah, well, there, well there's, there's, party? there's two main parts. So there's there's actually a plot involving a clone so that they can mix in some shooter parts and, you know, get some actual action going. So that mixes it up. But, yeah, it's it leads up to a party at the end with all of your surviving squad members. So that's that's kind of the focal point for it. Like a surprise party? No, it's a... Uh, it's just a normal party. Everybody gets them. And, you, and you, can, you can actually pick who you want to invite. So I invited everybody, but I think you have the option to exclude some characters if you don't like them. So I don't know. Should have made that a whole game, like just 20 hours of throwing a party. Yeah, <laughs> or, or just 20 hours of picking who to invite to your final Yeah, final it's like, I, I don't know. It's like, if I invite this, this person, they're going to invite this person. They're going to invite this person. I don't want them to be at my party. I don't want Solarians in my party. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, his exactly. character died in the second game on my save, so they're not coming to the party. Yeah, then, then, yeah. They're, then they're not going to be there. It's so like, yeah, oh, this, this person's going to eat all the donuts. I don't want them to come. So actually, there's plenty of stuff to do in this DLC. They they broke it down. So like I said, there's there's a subplot where you have to go and actually do some missions. But then there's there's a ton of side stuff. You know, there's the they set it up so that each of your squad members are the, the ones that are surviving. Um, you each get, like, each of them has their own side thing to do. So once you get to a certain point, and once you're most, mostly done with the, uh, with the plot where there's an actual story, you can, you can, you know, they'll, you'll get an email from one of them, or they'll, like, they contact you or whatever, and then you can go off and do this one thing, and it's just one last opportunity to spend some one-on-one -on -one time with each of your squad mates. And, you know, that, that's really it. There's plenty of stuff to do, so you're going to be at this for at least half a dozen hours if you do all the side stuff, and you definitely get your money's worth with this one. I Chris, are say, you Chris, are you sure you weren't playing The Sims? Positive. <laughs> all right, good. This, this does sound sort of stupid to me. You know, yeah. Like, after it, playing the first two, I didn't play the third one, but, like, it's probably the same game, like, the action, you're going on mission. Why do I want to, like, hang out with my, my crew members? It's like... Action game. Well, you didn't get okay. through the second yeah. game, did you? I got Just, to the end of it. It doesn't matter. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, talking no. to talking to your party is like all. It's all part of. I don't the game. care. They're just characters in the game. I'm not gonna make a party. How is that a game where you blow up aliens? Let now we're all gonna. Oh, well, it's, it's right before the. My moment in the bloody campfire in the middle. Well, oh, yeah, this is yeah. supposed to be before the. Right before the, you, uh, like the final assault. Yeah, like this is this game, happens right? before the end of the game. It's just that they released it afterwards. So it doesn't, that doesn't dumb. make any. Yeah, that I mean that doesn't make any sense. But we I make mean, a flow chart. Well, a lot of companies do that with their <laughs> DLC. <laughs> they they release them post release and then. They're, you know, they take place before the finale. They're within, like, the structure of the original game. Yeah, but let's, ooh, let's have a party, everybody. <laughs> no, I mean, I, I mean, that, we yeah. Solarian I understand why they Dash did it. People were disappointed with the ending, and that, then, and I'm no exception. The ending was terrible, but see, see here, this is just kind of, they're all sitting around talking, and, and this is it, because they're not... This is the last game. The new Mass Effect is going to be something completely different. So if you right. if you had played the second one, the second one is is nearly completely character based. The whole point of the game is to collect and pick up your squad members, I and then you go on yeah, and then you go on this thing. But, but, but it's the it's whole very. Point is you go fight guys. Who cares? No, the whole point is it's completely character oriented. Oh, that's the thing I don't like about Mass Effect. That's what I loved about let's, let's Yeah, that's what makes it. Yeah, so, 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 it sounds like we're divided. It was like one of the three games I had to play. I that's the worst part of Mass Effect is clicking no. through all the text. 
So is this so, so, so this is so this is not so this is not for you then. No, definitely. this game is not for me. Is this if, the party if, if that everyone's invited? If you were into boring games, yeah. yeah. See how see they, they've already, they've separated. Really terrible. In, you don't like it. It's like the worst Mass party Effects, I yeah. may have yeah. ever been invited. They've all they all kind of separate out into into groups here or cliques, but they do they they separate. So so you've got Jacob, Liara, Ashley, um, the other one. Forget it, forget his name. What the hell? What the hell is his name? I always forget his name. We had this discussion last time. Remember, he's voiced by Freddie Prinz. Jacob? Um, no, no, not Jacob. Jeez. The one I can't. Whatever. Oh man, we're gonna have to edit this out. But anyways, yeah, they the the groups move around and they they talk to different people. But you know, I I understand why they did this. For people that played the second game, you probably got attached to the characters in that game. And this was this was your last chance to like to say you know to do one last thing with them and then that's it. Because again, the new one is not, these characters have been, you know, they're moving away from this yeah. group. Because they should have just quit while they were ahead. You think so? I mean, that's, Did you like, yeah. did you, so this, in your opinion, was this the best uh, DLC? All right, yeah, here we go. Let's sum it up. So to sum up, I still, I want to say, Lair of the Shadow Broker is still the king of DLCs. That's, there's no, I mean, but this one came pretty close. This one was at a disadvantage, and we kind of talked about this, but it was released sort of after the fact, and now the whole thing is over. But still, I mean, this was this was really, really good. Like most people, I'm still bothered by the ending to Mass Effect 3. Um, so I'm going to say, if you played Mass Effect 3, then you should definitely play this. I mean, this. I agree with that. It was no Battlestar Galactica. We, whatever. <laughs> don't, don't even start. Don't even start with <laughs> yeah, Battlestar Galactica. I love, I love Battlestar PSG. Galactica. What a joke. What a joke. You're yeah, right. Battlestar Galactica is awesome. Yeah. You like it, Tom? Yeah, because you haven't made it yeah, past the second Chris, season. Dude, Chris, no, the ending ask, Chris, All four seasons. The ending is the worst fantastic. part of it. Did you like the ending? Yeah. Stop trying to derail the review. <laughs> All right, so here, here we go. Mass Effect 3 Citadel is a must-play, guys. If you played Mass Effect 3, you should play this, or if you're at all attached to uh, to this, at all attached to Mass Effect. So there you go, guys. That's Mass Effect yeah. 3 Citadel. I broke my CD in half. <laughs> <laughs>